Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. Between episodes, I've done a little bit of cleanup work. So, if we have a look at our artifacts here, we're down to 30 artifacts that we have. I also equipped this instead of one of our um, Bejeweled Scriptures, because I noticed we had it. It's another small health boost, just to try and, you know, keep her health as high as it can be. But yeah, we're down to 30 artifacts here. Uh, I gave away all the weapons that I could. By that I mean when I was giving away artifacts, not all the weapons were showing on the giveaway artifact list. Which is a little weird. I wonder if it has a cap to the number it actually shows on that list. Anyway, besides the point, I destroyed all the other ones that we weren't able to give away. Uh, which are all the green and like grey ones basically were destroyed, so that's fine. Uh, so that's all done. I've also done the same in our royal court. So, we are down to 221 artifacts from, I think it was 316 is what we had before. So, quite a few artifacts down, and all the ones we have left should be ones that we can't destroy or we otherwise wanted. So, there we go. I think the only green ones we have are actually mysterious lamps, which I'm sure must have a purpose. We have three of them, though, so maybe not. Anyway, so... Now all that's done, I've also done the marrying off of people in our court, so that's all done. So once they're married off, we just need to sort out our court physician problem, because currently we don't have one, and then we can figure out what we're doing next. So, let's unpause and see what happens. So that's done, that's done, these are just people who were either, we did the prison stuff at the end of last episode, some of these are marrying off things, but we're just going to wait for all of the pop-ups to disappear, because they're all just generic, I've married this person off to this person, or I've been let out of your prison. So, let's have a look at our prison, is it empty? Our prison is empty! Right, court physician, we have an excellent court physician, wonderful, I choose them, <laughs> easy. Right, that's done. So, that's all sorted. How is our son looking? His health is poor. Well, you know, if it could be a little bit more poor, that would be ideal. Uh, how is his daughter looking? His daughter is fine, but is incapable. Oh, and melancholic. We might be able to skip directly to um, uh, Antoine here. Yeah. That would be good, because this is who we want to be, because he's Herculean, handsome, and genius. So we want to skip directly to him, basically. So we want to get this person dead, we want to get his daughter dead, and then just jump right down to this one. But we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. Anyway, um, right, let's see. I uh, guess we're just going to figure out how the factions are looking. Actually, we have to wait a couple of months, don't we, for the factions to sort themselves out. Um, heresy. Ah, you see, this is what we don't like. We don't like heresy. Um, hmm. Let's see, what twisted mockery of our faith is this? Yeah, a little bit of heresy is not good. Wait, was that on our holding? No, okay, that wasn't on our holding. It still has high um, development, but not, not the one that we literally spent, you know, 40 years converting. Yeah, that, that's good. That's good. Right, glad about that one. Um, how is our converting going? 35 years on the next one. Okay, cool. Uh, someone of Italy died. Oh, okay, there's a new person in charge. What have you invited me to? A grand wedding. Nope, not going to your wedding. Right, uh, how's the faction looking? Weak. Aha, uh -huh, so 63, you're 55. We'll wait a little bit to see where it all evens out to. You've converted, have you? Hey, guess what? No, you haven't. There we go. <laughs> it's just like, they're like, I converted. No. Although that now means that, yeah, there is a little heresy. It's a little heresy all over. We might have to wait a second or two before doing another holy war. That's the culture, not the religion. Oh, our fervor's up at 71. Wow. Oh, the heresies increase your fervor. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So, we, we got all of our fervor back. Love to see it. <sighs> Count Fabrice, could you not just, like, not do that? I bet each one that converts also, yeah, also converts the holding they're in. That is horrible. Vassal has embraced the new heresy. <sighs> really? <laughs> just don't? There we go. It's 
fine. We converted them back. Right. Anyone else? We should be fine. What does this mean? You Lothair returns. This guy joined my court. What? No, he didn't. What? <laughs> what a weird um, event or thing that popped up. Okay. Uh, let's wait till the end of the month. How are the factions looking? So, 57, 58. And then these guys have almost no power at all. Fantastic. Um, well, in which case, we might want to take a little bit of... I'm kind of tempted to take some of this land just to get in here. But I think we want to take uh, a little bit of Catholic land. That's our next thing. Now, Lithuania is obviously a little messed up here because it contains some land that shouldn't be where it is. Is this Lithuania by default? Ah, the Estonia bit at the edge is not. But that should, that should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to declare on this guy for Lithuania, I think. Yeah, I'd like to declare for Lithuania. Then we can usurp it. Then we can give. Uh, then we can vassalize the rest of it. That seems sounds like a plan. Let's declare a little war. Get our rally point over here. Raise our men at arms. Let's go. Oh, someone else is speaking Dutch. That is Moldavia is now Dutch. Wonderful. There's a snake at court. Oh no. Anyway. Carry on. We'll head up here, defeat that army. Good. Ooh, new dynasty legacy. So we finished this one last time, so we got to the domain limit. So what are we going to do? We can have an architected ancestry to get a congenital trait to be more common. Increase our life expectancy. We go down this one, but none of this really matters. Like, this really doesn't matter at all. Um... I think this is kind of a good path, I guess. The monthly tyranny stuff's probably worth it. Yeah, let's take long reach. Not that that matters. Yeah. And go down towards monthly tyranny minus 0 0.05. How is our tyranny, anyway? Minus 130. It's been worse. It's been a lot worse. Okay. Also, how old are we? We're 97. Do you think we're going to live to be 100? Could. We definitely could. All right, so we start with 56% war score from a single battle. It's not bad. Oh, no, it's a battle and a capture. I see. What does it say it's under siege? Oh, over here. Oh, that's where their capital is? Weird. Anyway, doesn't matter. We move so quickly in Western Europe. It's uh, insane. There we go. I mean, it would be insane, insane how quick things were as well if we didn't have to do autosaves. Yeah, don't know. I could change the auto... I think you can change the autosave frequency, but... I think the problem isn't so much that we're doing autosaves often. The problem is more that the game's just, like, so late that we're... It just takes a long time to do an autosave. Um, anyway. Enforce demands. Wonderful. We got what we wanted. Right, now I'm gonna assert, um, Lithuania. I can't. Why not? Because they're fighting a war. Against who? Who are you fighting against? This dude. Who are you? Can I just tell you to, like, stop? No. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, let's find somebody to... Can I, uh, can I usurp a lower tier title? I could create a... A, a duchy, or... Wait, does he have a duchy I can usurp? No. Okay, I'll create the Duchy of Lithuania then. Then at least I will remember who to give the land to. Um, there we go. So, Duchy of... That's what I was looking for. Wait, do we already hold Lithuanian land? Is that the problem? Oh no, the Duchy of Lithuania is no longer de jure part of Lithuania. Oh! That doesn't make any sense at all. But I, I, I know why it's happened. It must be because Poland's held the land for long enough, because Lithuania didn't exist for a long time, that basically it's, it became de jure. All right, well, um, that's weird, but okay, I understand. Uh, we're going to grant that too. We have to do the same thing we always do, so uh, no claims. They're going to be Ruter, they're going to be of my dynasty, they're not going to be a ruler. 
Sven. Sven is the heir. All right. Well, that's obviously not right. My great grandson, Ulbrich. Ulbrich has two grandparents who are landed. I'm just going to assume that he's not good. Unar, my granddaughter. She has siblings who are landed. But she is not landed. That seems fine. Oh, your sib. Oh, this isn't good. Well, you just need to have a child, basically. That's fine. Unar, you have children. You're married to somebody, and he has no connections to anyone. Okay, Unar, I grant you recently gained titles. All of this. There we go. Right. Then we're going to allow marriage and just give her a bunch of money. So we're aiming for her to have a thousand gold. There we go. Wonderful. Right. A little bit of land there. Ooh! We got the upside down F. Our, our name is Bending. <laughs> that is weird. Okay. Yeah, I know. You, I knew you could break it at points. I just didn't know it was actually going to happen here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what caused it. It's, it must be like if it thinks it can do that particular angle, it will. But it's just like, yeah, it's good. All right, so you're in a holy war against this dude who has 5,000 troops. <sighs> like, if, it, it's very annoying because he is my vassal. And I'd love to just be like, stop. Could I just, you know what? Can I just, I was thinking, could I just revoke his title? No, you don't like me, apparently. Yeah, I'm going to send you a little gift. There you go. Um, well, the other option that we can do is I can shoot, go to this guy and I can give him just a pile of money. So wait, you've declared a holy war for what? Sorry. Duchy of Lawitz. Are you in the Duchy of Lawitz already? No. In which case, no, I don't want you to do this. Sorry, uh, that's the wrong thing. I'm going to take your vassal. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's fine. Then, I am going to revoke your title. Well, can I stop you? Stop Vassal War. I will pay you to stop the war. Disband our troops. Come on. Is that his war stopped? It is. Oh, oh, I thought I could still see his troops. Okay. So now I should be able to take uh, this. Perfect. Right. Assert that. Grant that to you. Wonderful. So she now holds the kingdom of Lithuania, which is the same as the Azure kingdom of Lithuania. Wonderful. Now you, I'm going to grant you. Well, is this part of Sorbia? Azure, by the way? It is. Okay. Oh, but what's this? Why do, why do you hold those guys? Oh, because I gave them to you because I didn't want anyone creating Bohemia. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm like, why do you hold this land? Oh, because, you know, it's your land. I see. That's fair. The land I gave you. Right, you can have him back. This guy. Will you be my vassal? No. All right, I'm going to give you a gift. I'm going to wait a second or two. There we go. So now we're no longer negative 500. Yeah, so still no. Okay. Wait, why not? Just out of curiosity. Uh, cultural acceptance is the main one. And he's ambitious and stubborn. But yeah, those are the main things that are stopping it. You. No. How about a gift? Mm, no. How far away is he? And why is he so bad? You recently waged war. Ah, he's literally the person we waged war against. Okay, how about you? I'll send you a little gift. I think he's in my prison. <laughs> uh, no. Stubborn. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, that's fine. Let's do a little, uh, announcing claims and releasing. Converting. And converting. Wait, how did you become independent? Oh, because this is also um, 
I just realized this is also a uh, part of uh, or was part of Lithuania. Okay, you will be my vassal. Fantastic. That's fine. Nice. Uh, you are now going to be a uh, vassal contract change. That's what I wanted to do. Right. Oh, wait. Uh, it have to be something like this. There we go. Then we're going to demand your conversion. Nice. Then I, that should be part of Pomerania. Yeah. I'm gonna grant you them. Wonderful. Name is still upside down. That's fine. Okay. You still don't want to join me. No. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we'll leave you be for right this second. I will lose land if this person dies. Oh, really, will I? I will lose land, will I? Uh, there, there we go. That's how you solve it, right? Yep. We'll not lose land anymore. Right. Repair. Should have to do less repairing in the future, in theory, because all because uh, I've got rid of all the green artifacts. It should mean that we're only repairing um, ones that have a long time on them. Although I just gained another ten artifacts, so who knows? Yeah, see, I just gained another random artifact. So, but yeah, the, the higher quality artifacts tend to have a longer amount of years that, of durability. So in theory, that's that's good. But anyway, we'll see. Right. How are we looking in terms of that faction? It's actually quite weak now. Interesting. Let's wait a couple months and see where it um, evens out. White Russ uh, has won a war against this guy in a holy war. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. It's not just us doing holy wars. Drunken Brawl. Um, we'll say... Mm, it isn't worth it, mate. And then your old Beatrice will become loyal. Okay, sure. Oh, I got another thing in here. I got a new sword. Yeah, no. That's fine. Okay. Byzantines? Okay, you're fine. You're fine. I just noticed you had a little, uh, what looked like a war going on over there. That's fine. Hey, guess what? I got more money for you. Have literally one month's, uh, you know, income from me. There we go. Right. Uh, that faction. How are you looking? Fifty-two percent. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's actually running out. That faction. I think that we could potentially take a little bit more land if we wanted to. I think we could take it without too much um, bother. Fervor is ninety-five uh, here. Wow. Okay. That's good. I like that it's so high. Uh, we could take a chunk out of one of these guys, like Galicia Volnia. We can take a huge chunk out of them. Let's maybe do a holy war for kingdom. No, I'd like to declare for your big kingdom, not like your one province, if that's all right. Declare. Right. We'll raise our troops in Poland and then head over. Right. Raise our men at arms. There we go. Enemy holy order has been, uh, you know, called. That's fine. Okay. March away over here. Oh, we want to lead as well. New diplomacy perk. Okay. Uh, well, I will take confidants because that gives you the minus 5% stress gain for each friend that you have. And we have two friends. So that is 10% stress gain down, which is good. Head up here. Defeat an army. Right. And, oh, we're about to get to them. They have been defeated. Daughter has learned the high German language. That's not what we want to see. 20 for 18,000. And then, oh, and the, that was the previous war. 13 for 5,000. Okay. We're barely losing anyone in these ones, which is good. Head over here. Nice. Now I'm going to go to your capital. There we go. Oh, you promoted culture in Argyle. Fantastic. Okay. So now we can promote culture again up here. Um, I want to get rid of the... 
Scarlet culture first. So these are Lothian Gales. Yeah, so no, I want to get... Yeah, I want to get like Strathurn done next. Yeah, there we go. Uh, where are we? Right, back over here. And we did it. Wonderful. I see somebody's... I got somebody's crown. Okay. There we go. And enforce demands. Wonderful. Disband. We're now going to go in here. We go kingdom. Assert that. Wonderful. And then we're going to give it uh, away to somebody. Like... Uh, we've already looked at some of these before. I recognize the names. How about uh, Hadu, Hadujwin? Is so you have to, yeah okay. So you have two grandparents who are landed. Okay, Benoit. I think we've looked at before. Maria. Maria is the daughter here. Yeah, but the son. So do you, you don't you don't have children now? How about this son here? 15? He could be alright. It's only a very it's only a barony over here. So it should be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna grant you I can't you're being held hostage, are you? Can I like get him? <laughs> uh Warden is you. Um I would like your hostage, please. Um Offer guardianship to... No, okay. Let's not worry about it. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how I did it, and I'm, I'm just like... You know what? You know what? Nah. I'm just going to pick the next person on the list. Escarlmont. Is not the heir. You don't have children, though, and you're not married, and it doesn't look like you're gonna have children, so the heir would be her eventually if we were to uh, legitimize her. Etienne. Second child. You, sh you should end up getting married at some point, you would think. But yeah, not right now, so you're still second in line. Okay. Uh, Sig. Sig is not the heir. Do you have children? You have a child. My god. Right. Sig. I'm going to grant you all of this. Because now we finally found somebody who is not in line to something. And the other person actually has children. So you're never going to be in line. In theory. Right. Grant you all of that. Wonderful. Now we're going to give you a little bit of money. See how this goes. Another couple bits. There we go. Perfect. Our name is no longer upside down, which is unfortunate, but it is much larger, which is good. Right. Um, wait a little bit. Cool. So, uh, you want to be my vassal? Oh, yeah, without even, like, a question. I'm going to send you a gift anyway, just to see how much you want to be my vassal. With a religious exemption, I see. Alright, so we now have Turov. I'm now going to change your vassal contract. Uh, There we go. I'm now going to demand your conversion. Easy. I'm now going to... I see, that's it, right? That's all we needed to do. Because uh, you are underneath Ruthenia. Okay. Um, and then you are the person I was literally just at war with. So you were going to have a reason that we recently waged war. Yeah, so you're not you're not a huge fan of this. I'm going to send you a gift anyway. Just to see. Minus three. He's actually not that far away. He is not that far away at all. My powerful vassals liked me more. He might say yes. Who are my powerful vassals? Uh, you? Okay, send a gift. Then you send a gift. Right, so they're my powerful vassals. Wait a little bit. That's fine. Uh, sure, I'll take the money. Need to sort out the people in my prison. That's what that's telling me. Wow, there's a lot of people in prison. Okay. Demand conversion. Demand conversion. Yo, demand conversion. 
demand conversion. Go down the list, demand conversion. Demand conversion. Demand conversion. Just realized something I haven't done yet, but we can do that in a second. Demand conversion. Demand conversion. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Oh, you won't accept. I see. I'll take a weak hook. And then you convert. Wonderful. What I didn't do is I didn't go into here and then go... You got anything I can build? Ooh. Temple? Temple? You already have a lot of temples. Have another one. City? That's fine. That's fine. This one. Temple? That's fine. In here, build another temple. Um, yep, that's okay. Just working out where we are. Okay, and then... I'm going to head up here and go... Any of you actually have space for any other buildings? No? Oh, this one has space. There we go. Temple. Oh, there are a few spaces here. Temple. You're already building something, apparently. And then temple. There we go. Wonderful. Right. Seems good to me. Yeah, looking much better. Got some favor hooks. Our son has hit uh, 70. Okay. That's fine. His daughter is still going strong at 53. Poor health. Okay. Alright. Three of us at poor health. We know we've got at least a year left. Because we've got that trait. Okay. That's fine. Okay, how's our prison looking? Empty. We got a bunch more core artifacts. Yeah, I know. I, I literally just sorted them out. We're already back up at an insane amount. Is that one... That one's grey, right? Yeah. I thought, it would look, I thought it was something else, but no, that one's definitely grey. I'm just destroying it because it's about to ask us about it in here. So I thought I'd just do it. Um... Before it got there. That's fine. Cool. Right. Chill for a second. Let's see how our factions look. Okay. Just let it um, work itself out. Get all of our courtiers are plotting against our courtier stuff out of the way as well. Uh, what's that? We can usurp the Jarldom. Hmm. Do you have a vassal? You do? Okay. Well, there is a reason to usurp the Yaldum then. Uh, yeah, so usurp that. Grant the Yaldum to you. But that now means that you are now independent. Zero. Ah, okay. We're exactly where we could be here. Like, we're exactly on the edge there. Okay. Oh, it's because he's Rooter already, so there's no cultural acceptance negative. I see. Uh, and then you, can you be my vassal? Oh, you would be if I um, if I unpause a second. There we go. Yes, wonderful. Uh, with low feudal exit. Um, that's fine. It's almost better to do religious exemption and then just remove it, but whatever. Right, you're part of Poland. I can now grant you to Poland. Wonderful. Right. Good. That's much better. Uh, I'm assuming that Lawitz, which is a duchy, well, he or he controls the entire. He actually controls the duchy, so no, there's no way to usurp it. That's fine. Uh, the on the other one, he controlled none of it, so that's why we could do the assert uh, the usurpation. Right, Catholics are at 59. They're still higher. Okay, interesting. Okay, well, things are still being converted. I think it's because all the Catholic land's been being converted for so long that um, there's not a lot left here, while these ones still have a lot of new bits of land. Okay. You're still 34 years away from uh, doing anything with that. That's fine. Right. Uh, well, if we need more Catholic land, we could just grab more Catholic land. How about Moldavia? Which is, we actually, which is down here. But there is also Ruthenia. Do you control Ruthenia? No. Okay, in which case we want Moldavia and then we want to um, 
yeah, we, we want to vassalize the rest of them. Okay. Let's declare a war. Holy War for Kingdom. Moldavia. It's kind of weird that we're declaring for that one, but it does make a lot of sense, actually. Uh, that's fine. I also just want to quickly check. Fervor is still 90%, so we're still doing pretty well on that. Okay. Raise our troops down here. Now we just wait for it. I love how the Holy Orders get called in. I imagine it's the same one. It's probably not, but I imagine it's the exact same one for every one of these wars, and they're like, you should just give up now. We've been in like 10 of these wars. It turns out the same way every time. But no, they don't. Okay. Undefeatable. 100 battles, 100 victories. With my latest victory against uh, Miroslav and his soldiers, I finally reached this momentous milestone. Wait, we've been in 100 battles? Wow. With each battle I won, the rumors of my prowess grew. None of my deeds have surpassed even those of legend. I can claim to be truly undefeatable and indomitable force that can never be bested. So we can gain the nickname the undefeated, increase our martial by three, or I'll not fall into hu hubris. We're already called the Blood Father, though. I, want, I don't want to be called the undefeated. I like the Blood Father better. I will take the three uh, martial, however. Lure of Vendetta. Uh, the whole, my great-granddaughter Maria, did she just die? She was murdered on... She, was she actually murdered, or like, what, did she murdered in battle? No, she was actually murdered. Okay, I see. The whole, my great-granddaughter Maria's death has left my heart remains uh, clawed, open each time I think of her foul killer. And the justice that... Um, remains to be served. Day after day, the cruel logic of revenge dominates my thinking, fueled each night by in fitful dreams where I see uh, Hamida and all house Psyche Pinsk racked by the same grief my family endures. I'm not going to start a feud against White Russ. I'm going to take 20 stress and move on with my day. Right. Um... We have a lot of great-grandchildren. That's all I'm going to say. We, we don't need to worry about each one. Right. Head over here. We're almost there. There we go. And up here. Let's siege this one as well. There we go. 100%. We now enforce our demands. Which gives us that land right there. Now, what we should be able to do with this is we should be able to usurp that. Yeah. Okay, let's find somebody to give this away to. Oh, got some deer antlers. Okay. Um, How many artifacts? Oh, it's only 10. <laughs> I thought it's a much larger number. Uh, That's fine. Let's go down here. Go down here. Thora. Thora. Is where... Wait. Thora, this is your parent. Okay, so it'd be you. You're the primary heir. You have a child. So Thora would be fine on your side. Then on our mother's side, it's the same thing. Okay, so... Th uh, Thora would be fine. I just need to refine them. Thora, 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 Thora. How did I lose them? <laughs> uh, ah, there we go. Oh, and then her spouse. Oh. Her spouse is in line to something. Well, there we go. How about... Uh, you, Adamir. Well, your father is Amory. Amory is not the heir. So it goes Amory, then Adamir. Why would I not just give it to Amory? Dunno, I could do. Right, oh, because he, he has claims. That's why he didn't show up on the list. Okay, I should maybe take away the claims thing. It might not be helping us. That's fine. So we're going to give you all that. Wonderful. And now we've done that, this person... That holds this duchy, but this duchy is also land that we can usurp. I'm going to grant you the duchy as well. That's what I was hoping. 
So now these are all independent people. So I'm just going to wait a second or two for it to calculate. So now they should, ah, they should be potentially people we can vassalize. Not guaranteed, but if we can vassalize one or two, wouldn't be the end of the world. Or like it wouldn't be, um, wouldn't be bad. Right. There we go. That's religious exemption, that guy. There we go. Then we're going to modify his contract. Cool. Then we're going to demand he converts. Why do you hate me? You just generally do. That's fair. That's fine. Just wait for that to go through. Now you don't hate me because of the religion thing. That's wonderful. Right. So this is all land within Ruthenia, which we don't quite have enough to create yet. Now you are now bordering me. I'm going to send you a gift. You would also not accept being my vassal by like the smallest of margins. Unfortunately, cultural acceptance is the problem there. You're the person who I was just at war with, right? Yeah. Can I take this duchy off of you? Uh, Wait, no, I want the duchy that you currently... Oh, no, these are counties. Oh, in which case, no, I can't take anything else off of you. You, um, you're still a no, huh? Yeah, basically, you're still a no. In which case, I have no way through this, but this is okay. It's a good start. Could declare a lot of wars and take it. I'm kind of tempted to. Just declare a bunch of wars and take enough to make Ruthenia. But to get Ruthenia, we need to go up this way. Oh no, we might just leave that for right this second. Uh, but yeah, now we have some new vassals over here. It's fine. Yeah, just just let them chill for a second here. Okay, that's okay. I will become the owner of this. Oh wait, no, you would like to become the owner of this. All right. <laughs> Honestly, it's fine. I can vassalize this person? Who's this person? What land do you hold? Oh! Alright, yeah, sure. I'll take you as a vassal. Of normal feudal... I can actually go up to high feudal obligations if I wanted to. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'll take that vassal. That's uh, Estonia. Yeah, okay. You don't want to be my vassal because you're currently at war. Uh, a holy war for Livonia. You're defending against it. Uh, are you the main person in it? You are. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Uh, low durability. Magnificent crown. Repair. Stalking lion hide. Repair. Wild stag hide. Destroy. Wild antelope hide. Destroy. Notorious bear hide. Destroy. Notorious wolf hide. Destroy. 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 Get rid of it. And repair. Cool. Right. Pay ransom. I accept. Right. Uh, prisoners. It's just a reminder to go back and do what we're uh, forgetting to do each time one of those pops up. It's like, yeah. Gotta go convert people. That's fine. Keep converting. Keep con... Oh, gain a weak hook. Keep converting. You know what I just realized happened in the Estonian one? Or at least I think what happened. We captured somebody, right? Um, we convert. I think we captured them. We converted them. Um, they then went back. Their parent died. They inherited the land. And then we were able to uh, vassalize them. I think that's what happened. I'm not sure. Couldn't prove it. Well, I mean, I could. I guess I could go into her memories and that would prove it. No, it actually doesn't help. Uh, fell from the window of his bedchamber. Hmm. Kind of sounds like he was pushed. Doesn't say when she converted to Ruterine. She might have been that all along. Was her father? No, her father was Catholic. So, yeah, I don't know. Mother? Mother. Ah, her mother's in land that we've already converted. That's how it happened. Okay, so never mind. It was us that caused her to convert. It just wasn't in the way that I thought. Okay, cool. Right, wait for all these people to convert. There we go. 
That's fine. Clear all of those. Wonderful. Right. It's looking not too bad. Looking not too bad at all. Little chaos here. How are the Byzantines looking? They're still together. Fantastic. Love to see that. You appear to be a new count. Uh, you want to be my vassal? No, you're not a new count. I just missed where you were. I thought she was here for some reason. Uh, yeah, so without declaring a war, I don't think I'm getting into these two either. Hmm. Yeah, there's not really a great reason to do that. So we'll just leave it for right now. What's happening to you? Some kind of... Oh, an independence war. Oh, okay. Cool. Our Oh, we got even more artifacts. We're back up to 273. Okay. Um, how are the factions looking? So I imagine that Catholic populists are about to get a huge boost in power. That's what I think is about to happen here. Um, we'll see, though. Train for a tournament. Sure. Why not? Oh, my prowess increased by one. Wonderful. Where's that 83 again? Okay. How are we looking? Uh, they're actually weaker than they were before. Wow. Okay. Well, it's, I guess it's just because we're converting chunks of it. It just, yeah, gets weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. Love to see it. Right. Um, I guess we could do some wars then, if, if they're weaker. Yeah, why not? Everyone who will not join us um, because we want them to, we will declare a war. Uh, yeah, it looks like it can only take one part. Oh, that's just, just a potential ally? Oh, never mind, that's fine. You, declare. Uh, no, for your county. That's fine. Uh, are those the those are the three people I'm bordering, right? Well, Davia I've recently been at war with anyway. So that's fine, right. Let's raise our troops and go to uh, war. Right, rally point ourselves here. Raise our men at arms. Let's go. Okay. I've lost my executioner. Alright, well, I need a new one of those. I also need a new bodyguard. Uh, so I'm going to put that person in as my bodyguard. And my new executioner is going to be my daughter. Wonderful. I forgive your crimes. Okay. Um, That's fine. Get ourselves the renown. We are making... I just noticed we are making about 300 renown a month. What? Is that... Yeah, it's from all the people we've been landing. Each one is worth so much. Yeah. Because each one is worth so much. And they all then have their own core artifacts. Their core artifacts give them more renown. Which then means there's more renown getting added into us here. And... Wow. Okay, that's cool. Um... 795 living members of our dynasty. <laughs> oh dear, it's good. But yeah, each person we're landing is just causing us to gain more and more renown. You know what I think? I think there's, I wasn't originally thinking this, I think there's a pretty much a non-zero chance that we're going to end up with uh, all of the uh, dynasty legacies done as well. Which is crazy. Like, that is nuts. At least on, you know, pre-tours uh, and tournaments, that that's pretty much impossible, right? To get there. Or, like, it's not at the same level. Tours and tournaments, I guess it's very feasible to get up there because Renown is so much more common. I, when I say impossible, I mean, like, you would have to work for it. Like, we haven't done... We haven't really worked for it. We just get it. So, I don't know. Anyway. Also, this is a little bit worrying. Uh, my, what a breathtaking, breathtaking day outside. Standing at the window of my chamber, I'm left feeling so glad to be alive. Gazing down at the people moving about below in the distant wilderness outside. Refreshed, I'm quite ready to start the day's business. Still, a little more couldn't hurt. Eagerly drinking it all in, I lean my head outside, relishing the fresh air wafting past the lofty room, and that's enough of that. Are we about to be killed? A lovely, harmless way to begin the morn. Are we about to be murdered? I would like to lead this army, thank you. Just in case that will help us. But that definitely sounds... When I read the event that said the... Or when I read the thing... Oh, I can also take the Grand Principality of Moldavia. Uh, I think I might want to, right? 
No, I can't usurp it because I'm at war with them. Um, but yeah, when I read that that person's father got killed by, you know, being falling out the window of his bedchamber, I'm like, that could be us. Like, we could die that way. That would be possible. Enemy banner, uh, burn it. Right. Cool. Oh, I seized another brooch. Wonderful. Uh, enforce demands. Enforce demands. There we go. Right. That's fine. So now we have a bunch of new lands. So this is the jure part of that. It's also the jure part of this, neither of which I have. So I need somebody to get that. Is this? Oh, so that's Ruthenia. So some of this is Ruthenia and some of this isn't. So you are going to be granted to a new person. You're going to be granted to uh, Jacko. Not Jacko. Wait, but Jacko... Oh, you know what? We were going to fix this. We were going to change this to be all. So now we can have people with claims. Yeah, it's going to increase our list a lot. It's going to mean that we've got more people who could be in line for things, but doesn't mean that we're necessarily going to have people who are in line for things. Um, hmm. So let's go with Colbin. Colbin is like the fifth in line to that land. Okay. His father is unlanded. Jack, uh, he is... All right, so he's likely to inherit that. But at the same time, his brother is going to be the one who actually gets it. Yeah, so you're you're actually fine. I'm going to grant you that land right there. Wonderful. Then uh, we're going to leave the other bit... Well, no, then we're going to give this other bit of land away to... Oh, uh, I don't know. Orson. How's Orson of Brittany looking? Orson. Um, has many siblings, many of which are much older than he is. Okay. It's fine. How about this person, though? Rudolf. Even less than... Oh, no, his spouse has landed. I see. Catherine? Spouse is unlanded. I think Catherine could be good. Right, I'm going to grant you these two, because they're both within Ruthenia, which we also do not have currently. But that's fine. Then you are going to be my vassal. No. Okay. Also, why are you red? Is it because you're a drunkard or something? It's because he's a drunkard. He's just got a particularly odd-looking drunkard uh, bit. Yeah, you're minus 30. How about you? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you would be my vassal for religious exemption. That's fine. We'll take you. Um, do not question my decisions again. Okay. That's fine. So we've now taken that. That is the zero part of this duchy, which we also still cannot create. Uman, do you want to be my vassal? Maybe. No. Okay. You, I need to change your vassal contract. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then going to demand that you convert. There we go. Wonderful. Right. Well, we need to take these two as well then. Declare war. And declare war. Right, move this a little closer. And raise our men at arms. Let's go. So that's going to get us this land. Just getting a step closer again. Loads of people joining uh, wars. Doesn't matter though. It's just uh, all the people joining the holy war nearby. New diplomacy perk. I will take flatterer. Doesn't matter. That's fine. There we go. We won. Oh, also, can I lead an army? There we are. I'm already leading. Perfect. Head over here. Beat them up. Love how they're just standing there. They're like, yep, this, this is the way to handle it. Okay. 
Also, we're 99 years old, and we just got another health thing. No, we didn't. Oh, I thought that was this. That's ah, taper, not morsel of Saint David. Ah, my mistake. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I thought we got an artifact that did that, but we did not. Enforce demands. All by enforcing demands. So, uh, one is in Ruthenia, which means it's going to you. The other is over here, which means it is going to you. Do you have enough to create a duchy yet? No, I need one more for a duchy. Okay. Uh, do you have enough for a duchy? A duchy of Kiev? You do? Fantastic. Now, I'm going to grant you that. Great. Okay. So, that is good. Um... Okay, this is fine. So can I create the... I can't create Ruthenia yet, right? I'm well... I can't usurp it. I need another five. Okay. But I can now take the Grand Principality of that. Grant that over to you. There we go. So now means you have Shurnagov, which is a county... You're close to accepting, but you're still a little bit off, unfortunately. Okay. That's fine. We're just working our way through. Oh! White Rust split into two. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Get rid of all of these. There we go. Wonderful. Right. Doesn't look too bad. Looks a lot better than we had it a second ago. Good. How's uh, religion looking? Still looking pretty good across the board here. I think we might actually be able to get the rest of this. Um, yeah, we might we might be able to get the rest of this before this actually becomes a problem. Because I think one of the reasons why this isn't going up very quickly is a lot of this land is not as good. Yes, yeah, so this is only 20 development. I think this land is just fundamentally not as good as the land over here. And that means that um, like the land over here is stronger. Because I think maybe the individual provinces get their power based on, like, the number of levies in the province or something. I'm not sure, but that would make sense to me based on how they do other things. So, yeah. We'll see. That's still good. Um, yeah, so we can maybe just take the rest of that next time. But this time, I'm going to end the episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.